I'm not going to just because it's taking too much time. This is not a UVW up tutorial. You can see the other one on 3D Paradise. Alright, so that one's done. <coughs> Next, let's look for this little gap right here. So, this is where we have to do the um, texturing. I'm just going to offset those a bit. Okay. Oh, never mind. There's lines there. I just can't see them. Alright. Next, we have to possibly position this. So just move it pretty close to about where it would be. And then we're going to do this with the uh, top as well. And I guess we can just do it right from here. There's no reason why we can't. Alright. Just continue all the way around. That's one of the annoying things about Max. They could really revamp their uh, manual UVW mapping. But then again, I'm not an expert, so I'm sure there's an easier way of doing this. For example, I think I could have just attached these two things from the top and the bottom, UVW mapping them separately, but. Too late, I didn't think of it. Alright, just continue all the way around. Almost done. One more. Put it right in there, and then connect the top. Now we have pretty much UVW up this entire little piston thing. And this we can just kind of move over here and, and shrink. Because we won't really need it. <coughs> Next, let's increase the size of this a bit. So we can just texture it a little better. Just make sure it stays within the box. Alright. Looks pretty good for now. So I'll close out of that one. And let's open up this. Mm. Let's do this one actually. So I'm just going to do a UVW map cylindrical with a cap. And then I'm just going to do an unwrap UVW. And if we're lucky, we'll have a nice thing, but we don't. It's not bad. Just rotate it so that we can work with it easier. Scale it down a bit. And then also make sure we know what's the bottom. So this is the bottom. Alright, that one's done. Um, there's no real need to UVW of this. That's just going to be a base texture, as is this bolt. So now that we have these, we have to bring them into Photoshop. So what you do is you go File, or sorry. Tools, render UVW template, then you can choose the width and the height. Uh, 1024 is art for this, it's just going to be a small map. But for higher resolution textures, you might want to go, you know, the 2000s or even 3000s, it just really depends. But hit render UVW template, and you get this thing, and then you save it out. I'm just going to save it. 3D folder. Um, 
piston top UVW. And then save it as a JPEG. And press OK. Next, uh, do the same for this bottom piece. So edit tools, render UVW template, render, save. It's going to be piston bottom UVW. <coughs> save it as a JPEG. All right. And next, in the next part, we'll uh, go to Photoshop. And we'll get this figured out. Welcome to the second part of 3D Paradise's hydraulic piston texture tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, in this part, we're going to finish UVW or finish um, texturing. So all I've done is I've opened up the uh, two UVW maps we saved in Photoshop. And next we have to go find some textures for them. To do this, I just go to Google, I typed in Rust Texture, and you get a whole bunch of them. And I thought this one was pretty cool, so we're going to use that one. And also, I typed in Metal Texture for the actual, you know, metallic part. And where was the one I liked? This one. It looks kind of piston-like. So all you're going to have to do is just right-click, save him image as, and just save them. So I'll name this Rust Texture. All right. Save it as a JPEG. And then for metal one, wait for that to load. All right, uh, it's done. Let's just right click, save it as jazz, and save this as metal. Alright, then bring those, then go back into Photoshop, and we'll start with the um, top piston, or the top piece, I guess. So go to File, Place, uh, go to your metal texture, and just position it right in here. <coughs> Scale it up. And remember, this is up and down, so you want most of the grooves to be going up and down with the metal. Alright. Looks pretty good. I'll lower the opacity here so you can also, you know, see behind it. An alt scroll wheel will allow you to move in. Spacebar allows you to move around. And if you don't have Photoshop, you can easily do this in GIMP or um, even Paint, I guess. Paint Pro, maybe. Alright, press uh, enter to solidify your selection pretty much. And now we have a basic texture here. <coughs> and let's see what we want to do. Next, let's uh, just copy this so we get the other two pieces covered. So, copy. Duplicate there. Okay. And use the move tool and just move it. It should snap to the edges of the pixels there. Make a new copy. Right, move this down here. And one last one and move that just to cover up this inside piece here, just in case. Alright, now that we've got that done, let's start working on the rust texture. So again, here's the cuts that I made, which uh, help make it easier. So you're going to want to go to File, Place, get your rust texture, and it should appear quite big. Just scale it down, because you know that you're your bolt is only a little bit smaller than this square. What I want to do is I want to utilize this rust trail right here as um, pretty much the bolt. So it's just 